The German auto industry is in very deep trouble. The engineering excellence, design innovation, and manufacturing prowess that brands like Volkswagen, BMW, Audi, and Mercedes are so well known for is not translating very well into the electric vehicle revolution. Products from the top three German OEMs are simply not standing up to competitors like Tesla and new startups in China like Xpeng Motors, NIO, or Li Auto. As these aforementioned automakers have shown, startups really can kick ass when it comes to traditional OEM monikers. And clearly, Volkswagen is one of the big companies struggling with this change, with them really only having two main products in the biggest Chinese EV market, with partners from SAIC and BYD. These foreign joint ventures, paired with their recent acquisition of a 5% stake in Xpeng Motors, really goes to show just how behind the German automakers really are compared to the competition. And unfortunately for these companies, this technological gap is actually translating into lower deliveries and market share. As we have just learned that in China so far in 2023, none of the top four OEM brands from Germany are in the top 10 of automaker brands sold in mainland China. The list is being dominated by the likes of BYD, Tesla, and homegrown startups, including even companies like General Motors over in the United States. How exactly can such a big country that essentially invented the automobile lag in the electric vehicle revolution, even though a lot of suppliers in the automotive industry reside in Germany itself? Well, folks, that question is exactly what I'm going to try to address in this video. But as usual, folks, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Yes, folks, this was not clickbait. There actually is a spiraling trend towards the downside for German suppliers and OEMs not forgiving of the top three manufacturers by the name of Mercedes, Audi and BMW. Let's just start off with some basic facts. From January to March of 2022, around 7.8% of all electric vehicles in Germany were imported from China. However, in 2023, for the same three month period, that percentage rose to a whopping 28% in favor of China. This number is in Germany, not in China. In their own homeland, Germany is losing market share to electric vehicles that are manufactured over 4,000 miles away in a country that many people do not associate with being an automotive rival. But it's become pretty clear that now China is on the list in the electric vehicle and digital revolution as potentially being the next Germany of the auto industry. 86% of portable computers, 68% of smartphones and telephones, and 39% of lithium-ion batteries in Germany also happen to come from China. When it comes to the electric vehicle revolution, China not only dominates product definition, features, and digital innovation, but they also now dominate the supply chain, which allows them to drive out competition by significantly reducing costs to their consumers. Whereas on the other hand, the way German car companies have made money so far is by using a trickle down strategy, where they essentially introduced a technology that they had developed as optional extras for their consumers, but continued selling it at a premium price until essentially their competitors caught up. However, in mainland China, the way consumers buy vehicles is completely different. They are much more focused on technology instead of quality and on affordability instead of presence. And as Chinese OEMs and startups are developing vehicles for the market around those specific features, other OEMs from other countries are realizing that maybe those features are also required in their own home country, as clearly China is winning out on market share. Over the past decade, as China has moved to the forefront of consumer innovation, Chinese customers have neither the patience for technologies to trickle down like with German customers, 
in order the willingness to pay extra for their latest features. Where German automakers were focused on mastering the internal combustion engine through efficiency enhancements and pursuing other forms of powertrains, China was building its own dominance in the form of advanced assistance driving features as well as highly powerful infotainment systems which clearly are valued a lot more in today's day and age as seen by the success of Tesla. And what's the most surprising part is that Chinese OEMs are not sacrificing their comfort or their quality of vehicles nearly as much as consumers would have initially expected, which is exactly why these vehicles are still selling like hotcakes. Even for those consumers and rich folks who want luxury, these Chinese brands like Xpeng, Neo, and Liotto are sufficing with their added software features acting as a massive springboard for adoption and more customer acquisition. All this is leading to Chinese brands potentially outselling foreign brands this year in 2023 for the very first time globally with a market share of 51%, projected to rise to 65% by 2030. Although the likes of Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW all reported increased revenues and higher profits in the first half of 2023, their outlooks for the rest of the financial year have disappointed a lot of investors and shareholders. And that seems to be playing right in hand with the way that the innovation seesaw is swinging towards China. Inflation and rising interest rates are obviously having an effect on the consumer, but they're also allowing these consumers to have a focus on value, technological innovation, instead of comfort and quality. People now care a lot more about spending less and getting more, instead of spending a little bit more and getting a lot more. According to the German Association of the Automotive Industry, even if Germany sees an increase in production output for the rest of the year, it isn't necessarily a sign of easing as they have to simply fill the backlogs of orders coming out over the past 12 to 18 months. The real thing to keep attention to is the order numbers for vehicles from German brands. And according to the same group, those orders are declining currently in Germany, especially for battery powered vehicles with demand plunging to only about 60% of volumes compared to 2022. And because of this impending trend, folks, there's a really high likelihood that the upcoming decade in the EV industry is going to see a lot more merger and acquisitions, as we have just seen with the partnership between Xpeng Motors and Volkswagen. German brands are going to have to play catch up and gain access to the platforms and software stacks that these startups in China have been developing for decades. This is going to result in hefty price tags for some of these companies and potentially extremely rewarding opportunities for long term investors. And the best part is that the consumer will also at the end of the day win out with cheaper electric vehicles, more advanced driver assistance technologies and better range batteries potentially bringing EVs on par with internal combustion engines over the next few decades. Whether or not these M&As start this year or accelerate going into 2030, only time will tell. But that is currently the situation we're seeing in Germany versus the situation in China. As usual, folks, let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below. Do you think China is on track to become the next Germany in the auto market? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.